We're gonna work on planting in the garden. I gotta get a trellis set up today for my peas that we're gonna put in. Um, if you know anything about me and you've ever looked at my Instagram, you know that my favorite is snow peas, hands down, my favorite. So we're gonna try and get those going. They like the cold and we're gonna talk about what I'm gonna grow in my greenhouse today and what we think is gonna be most successful. Temperature is the same outside, almost as super cloudy today, so it's not too bad. But gardening can it can get kind of expensive, so I like to repurpose stuff out of my garden. And we're gonna change out our trellis for next year. Half of this was broken, and this one isn't. So I don't know. I haven't measured. I'm being kind of lazy, but I'm gonna try and see if this will actually fit inside of my greenhouse. I have a spot that I have picked out. Um, every year at the end of the year I get this vine that grows on here I don't know what it is but it comes every year and they just we I need to get rid of it so we'll see but yeah it's not a bad little trellis the prices of trellis went up drastically this year so we're gonna try and um, like I said repurpose it save a little money and be environmentally friendly All right, let's see if we can fit this bad boy in there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so far, so good. She's tight though. So that's one thing about it being in the greenhouse is it is a tighter space. And I wouldn't normally do something like this, but I really like beans and peas and stuff like that so i'm willing to uh to suffer a little bit for this project check it out it fit I'm excited. I was looking at uh, trellises the other day, man. They're like 60 bucks for something pre-made that was just kind of shabby. I bought that one a couple of years ago, like six years ago, and it's starting to rust, but I think I can get a little bit of use out of it. And um, we'll see, I'm just, I, and I'm tired of building them. Quite honestly, it's just, it's too much work. So this is just a quick, easy fix, repurposed, didn't cost me anything. I'm stoked, dude, I'm stoked. So if you listen to the Backyard Gardens podcast at all, you know that Batavia and I talk a lot about making your garden as easy as possible for you and not trying to fight nature. And that's kind of how we're going about planting in this greenhouse this year. Um, it gets cold here, but it doesn't get super duper cold. So we do have a lot of options we can do. So we have our cabbage planted and then we're gonna put kale next to it and then we're gonna put lettuce in, and then we're gonna put carrots. And then in this back corner here, there's this little trellis. My wife gave me a uh, housewarming gift for the greenhouse, which is super cool. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bucket of, um, a five gallon bucket of water there. And it's gonna, I'm gonna spray paint it black. And that's just gonna help soak up the heat and re release it at night when it gets cold. So that, that she gave me is just there to kind of keep it a little bit more pretty and then in front in the U in the back what we're gonna do is we're gonna put rutabagas in the front or turnips one of the two and then snow peas on the trellis behind me and then Brussels sprouts in the back corner broccoli cauliflower uh, more lettuce beets and then mustard greens and that should round us out for the you know middle fall to spring now the question i have is how much of it is going to make it how much of it's actually going to grow and you know it's going to get plenty warm during the daytime but at night it's going to get kind of cold so i'm curious but the way i'm looking at it is you don't know until you try we've been able to minimize the temperatures a little bit but more importantly what we did is instead of 
kind of fighting with what's going on outside and the temperatures and trying to get stuff to grow we just changed our habits and what we were trying to do i repotted and moved stuff outside where it's going to be a little bit cooler so they'll grow better and we started some more seeds outside too and just i talked to uh, bridget at san diego seed company and i was like man my greenhouse is getting to 110 degrees what should I do? And she was like, when it's hot like this, I abandon the greenhouse and I start everything out under trees. And I was like, man, that's brilliant. You know, why fight it? Just because I have this structure doesn't mean I have to use it right away, right? I just need to get used to it. I mean, why should I fight it? I mean, I have enough problems as it is. So temperature is not something I need to worry about right now when I'm what I really need to be worrying about is pests something got in here in this greenhouse and ate this plant ain't that something else I can't believe it but we have to leave the door open right now and we have a oh there's our issue so we're gonna have to take care of these guys today and just make sure that we don't have anything else chewing on our plants in here you know if you get an infestation in a place like this you got a bad situation going on you know that's that happened over two days with not checking on it every day so but we can take care of it no problem then we'll give a little spray of some um maybe some neem oil or something like that and then just try and knock it back a little bit so the first thing i like to do is i hand pick everything and then I treat for the eggs you know especially something small like this I mean these things are getting like I mean this is kind of this is a little bit more brutal than I thought and it's happened really fast it's a dirty job but somebody's got to do it right but hand picking first go ahead and eliminate the damage that's happening now and then spray for the eggs that's how I roll so we'll see what happens I know I talk about this a lot and it's really important to think about if you want to heat it or you don't you know your greenhouse is it's your choice but it seems easier just to let it grow and be and not worry about your plants necessarily being too cold when there are varieties that you can plant that can be cold. And it goes for the same on your in-ground bed. You know, we talk about this a lot on the Backyard Gardens podcast. You know, there's stuff that you can put in the garden now. It is a little late, so you might have to get some starter plants, but they'll take it. They'll take the cold and they'll be happy. So, you know, give it a shot. What have you got to lose? You know, a couple bucks, maybe a pack of seeds, something like that. So check us out on the Backyard Gardens podcast. Give us a like and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.